Hi everyone, today we are going to study operational feasibility. Operational feasibility is all about problems that may arise during operations. So there, there is a possibility of some problems arising during the operations of the project that means during the working of the project. So operational feasibility basically takes into consideration all those problems that may arise during operations. There are two aspects related with this issue. First of all, the first aspect says what is the probability that the solution developed may not be put to use or may not work. So you are developing a new information system, new information system project or you may call it a solution. So first of all, this, evalu uh, this feasibility study evaluates that what is the probability that this particular solution or this information system which is being developed may not be put, it, uh, put to use or it may not work. So there are two conditions here. One, the project is developed but then it is not put to use, it is not used as it was expected. And second is that it is used but then it is not working. So what is the probability of these two things? First of all, the project not being used and second, if it is used, then it it is not working. So what is the probability of these two conditions? The second aspect study says that what is the inclination of the management and end users towards the solution? So how much inclined the management or the end users who will be using the information system are towards the solution? So these are the two aspects that are studied in relation to operational feasibility. Though there is a very least possibility of management being averse to the solution, but there is a significant probability that the end users may not be interested in using the solution due to the lack of training, insight, etc. Now, as I said that the as second aspect basically studies that what is the inclination of the management and end users towards the solution. When I say inclination, inclination that means their interest to use that particular information system. So when we talk of the management, there is a very least possibility that the management is not interested in the solution provided by that project because it is usually with the consent and discussion among the peoples of the top management that they come with the proposal for a new project to the system analyst. So the people who themselves proposed a new project or a new information system, they there is a very less probability that, that they themselves will not be interested in that particular solution. So there is for that reason we say that there is a very least possibility of management being averse to the solution. But there is a significant probability that the end users who will be using the system on a daily basis may not be interested in using this solution. Why? Because they have lack of training. The new technology that is being is used in the information system, they are not well versed with that technology, they are not well trained in that technology. So due to difficulty in using it, they are not interested in using the information system insight etc. So the other issues related with operational feasibility are information. So these two are the major aspects which are studied while studying operational feasibility. But the other issues that may be related with operational feasibility are first of all information. The system needs to provide adequate, timely, accurate and useful information. It should be able to supply all the useful and required information to all the levels and categories of users. So the first thing related to any project is the information that it is pro providing. So one such thing that is started in operational feasibility is information because the system is considered to be successfully operational if it is providing you with adequate that means complete information timely that means as and when required not after a certain time lapse. So it is providing you adequate information, it is providing you timely information and also it is providing you accurate information that means whatever you are whatever information is being provided that is accurate and also it should be useful. The information provided should be such that it is useful. It should be useful to the management. You are providing information but if it is not relevant to the people 
to who it is being provided then it serves no purpose hence these all um, factors should be considered when information is considered it should be adequate it should be timely it should be accurate and it should be useful also it should be able to supply all the useful and required information to the le- all the levels and categories of users so it should not just concentrate on one level that okay the top management would be the one or the middle management would be the one since the organization belongs to one and all therefore it should supply useful and required information to all the levels and categories of the users starting from the top management to the operational level then the other uh, issue that is considered or related to operational feasibility is the response time it needs to study the response time during operational feasibility basically we need to study the response time of the system in terms of throughput basically response time means how much time the system is taking to provide the solution of a particular problem and this is also known as throughput so it should be fast enough to give the required output to the users obviously when i have uh, when i enter an input into the system i expect the output to be as fast as possible i cannot wait for half an hour after providing the input to wait for the output so the response time should be fast the system wouldn't be considered efficient if it is not providing a faster response time no matter how accurate the result is but it should be on time the response time should be fast the third issue related to operational feasibility or the third issue that is studied while uh, considering operational feasibility is accuracy now it is very important that the software system operates accurately if does if it does not operate accurately if it does not provide the desired functions then it is of no use so it means that it should provide value to its users accuracy is the degree to which the software performs its required functions and gives desired output correctly so whatever functions it is performing whatever output it is performing uh, uh, whatever output it is uh, providing uh, on the basis of the input provided to it all that should be correct and accurate so accuracy is also another issue which is considered while studying operational feasibility then comes security basically there should be adequate security to information and data whatever information and data is being provided by the system it is confidential and private to that particular organization and it is not for everyone to access especially outside the organization so the system must be able to protect itself from any kind of fraud or theft or oh. then the next factor that is considered is services when we study uh, operational feasibility apart from these all issues that we have discussed we also study these services during operational feasibility during the consideration of operational feasibility we study services so the system needs to be able to provide desirable and reliable services to the users what services the system or the information system is providing they should be desirable whatever is required should be provided unrequired services are of no use right you want to study system analysis and design and if i teach you iot then that service is no serves no purpose to you so the services first of all must be desirable and of course they should be reliable services to the users you should rely upon it you should you can rely upon it they should be trustworthy right so the services that are provided should be desirable and reliable and the last issue or the last factor that is considered while studying operational feasibility for a particular information system project is the efficiency of that information system now the system needs to be able to use maximum of the available resources when are you said to be efficient when you can use the maximum of all that you have so similarly the information system will also be called efficient when all the available resources can be used in the 
most optimum way in an efficient manner so that there are no delays in execution of jobs with whatever maximum resources that are available for the operation of the information system it must be able to provide all the services it, it should be able to do the execution of jobs without any delays